Hello everyone. Surprise! This is Robin. I am doing my weekly crafting show live a day early. I have an appointment tomorrow, so I thought I would pop in with just the video quick tutorial for you today to give you a fun idea. And this one is an easy, elegant card, and I wanted to use our Christmas rose bundle, although I'm not using the stamp set at all, but I am using the, the dies that coordinate with this. And I'm turning it into a thank you card. Actually, I just finished making a few dozen of these for some of my customers. So if you ordered for me the last week of, oh no, no, yes, what month are we in right now? The last week of October, I am shipping those out before I leave for my event this week. So I know some of you have been waiting and I have been waiting on my promotional product to arrive. So it arrived and these are going to be your gorgeous cards that you get in the mail from me. So. We'll hop right in. Hello, everyone. I can see you guys right on my screen, but this is just going to be a quick crafting video for you today. I might let you see me on the other end. I'm a little tan today. I got a spray tan for, we have our awards recognitions this week at our event, and um, I get really washed out from the lights on stage, so I got my spray tan, so don't you don't need to adjust your screen. I'm really tan, but by the time Saturday rolls around, most of it will have faded off. So no laughing at me when you see me at the very end of this video. Hi, everyone. Hi, Jewel. Hi, Maria. Happy to see you guys. Um, first of all, really quick update. My Christmas retreat in a box sold out. The first session sold out in, I think, about 18 hours maybe less, and I opened up a few more spots yesterday. They are now completely full, so thank you to everyone who signed up. Uh, my next online retreat in a box will not be until the first of the year, the beginning of uh, next year sometime, So, but I still have my weekly online classes, so watch for those. Okay, Christmas rose. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside since I don't need it. I wanted to use a sentiment that lets my customers know how thankful I am for them, so I'm using the I am thankful for you. That's the only thing I'm using out of this stamp set. And I really want to point out that our stamp sets are so versatile. You can use them with other uh, projects that you're doing. So I'm not using any of these other stamps, but I knew that I had a stamp in this stamp set that I just absolutely loved. Hi, Amy. So I am going to be using that. Now I want to show you guys our brand new stamp and trimmer. So I'm going to start kind of from scratch on this video and just show you how I cut it all out. I normally don't do that as much on the video tutorials because I don't want to take all that time. But this is our brand new Stampin' Up! trimmer. It's only $25, so the price actually has gone down $5 from the trimmer that we used to carry. I love this trimmer. I actually have ordered two, for so when my friends come over to craft and stamp with me, we have an extra one on the table. So I love it so much, and then comes out like that. It's not wobbly. You don't have to lift anything up on the bottom. There's a lot of pluses to it. So we'll start with a piece of thick whisper white cardstock. Hi, Erica. Hi, Jean. Happy to see you guys here today, a day early. This is thick. I'm going to cut it at four, five and a half inches. So just cut it at five and a half. No need to adjust your screen. Yes, my, ha my hands are a little orangish, but that's totally normal. No laughing at me today. You can laugh with me. Okay, now the great thing about, oh, sorry about that. The great thing about the trimmer is there a score is a scorer that's included. Awesome, Jean, you'll love it. You'll love to have this for your Christmas present. Okay, I'm gonna score it at four and a quarter, and I'm gonna set this aside. Now I wanna show you this beautiful paper. Now this is only available this month, so if you guys fall in love with this stamp set, the framelits that come with it, that coordinate, or the paper, or the, even the dots. This is only available while supplies last in November. You can get it on my shopping page, shopmypinkstamper.com. Super easy to find. If you're a new customer to me, I also send you a set of our catalogs as a gift from me. Every customer gets a hand-stamped card, and that's what these are for. I'm making them for my customers. Everybody with any size order gets a hand-stamped card that I personally make myself. I don't even have my assistant make my cards for my customers. I like to do that for you guys. Okay, so here is this beautiful, thanks Elizabeth. Wait till you see my face, <laughs> you might change your mind. Oh, my daughter came home for lunch today. She's like, mom, mom, that's all she said, mom. And my son last night when he got home from work, he's like, 
mom, why? And I said, that's okay because it's gonna, most of it's gonna wash off. It's just a spray. Most of it's gonna wash off by next, by the weekend when everybody sees me. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. I laugh at myself all the time. Okay, so this is the beautiful paper. It's called Christmas Time is Here. It's two-sided. There's three designs, but each design has two sides to it. So you get uh, four of each, which is awesome because it's so beautiful. And it really helps when you're making cards or Christmas cards. You have plenty of the same designer series paper, so you don't have to buy multiple packs. All right. I will have everything after this on the screen um, with the item codes. If you would like to place an order, you can. If you order $50 or more and you're a new customer, you also also are added to my exclusive VIP customer page, plus customer group. Okay, so I'm going to start with this piece here, and I think it's already five and a quarter. So this is going to be five and a quarter, and I'm just measuring it. I'll turn it a little bit. Five and a quarter by four inches. There's four inches right here. And so I have that cut, and I think that's all I really need my cutter for. So I have this beautiful paper that has the gold in it. And of course we have to emboss with gold since it has the gold in it. And I'll show you some of the cards. I'm, ha I'm halfway through, I still have one more step on all the cards. Okay, now I'm going to do something fun. So there are coordinating framelits that coordinate with the stamp set or dies. And I'm gonna be using this one later, I'll keep that out. Um, but some of you may not know this, but some of you may know this. Quite a few of you guys already ordered this on my shopping page. And guess what? The class that you ordered is shipping today. It's already packaged up. So that's exciting. The video will be sent to you tomorrow if you were curious about that. Okay, so I'm going to grab this piece here and the roses with the one rose, not the three, the one actually coordinates with the frame lip. So I'm just going to simply cut one of these out just carefully because I'm going to run it through my machine. So I'll set that aside. That's all I'm using the paper for. And I just started these cards last night and like I said, I was able to make a few dozen of these. I just turn on the TV while I'm, you know, doing all of my card making. I'm usually watching Survivor. Are you guys, are any of you guys Survivor fans out there? I actually, when I'm working on something that I already know what I'm doing, I put on the old episodes of Survivor. And my very, very favorite is um, Micronesia. I don't know if that, which favorite you guys have, which season. That's my favorite. So I watched it multiple times. And I love watching all reality shows. I like it because I think it makes my life <laughs> seem so much more like manageable when we see, you know, other people's realities. We should have a reality paper crafting show. That'd be really funny. Most of us would just be in the same spot crafting for hours and it might be kind of boring to people that don't get it. But to us paper crafters, we would totally get it. Okay, did you guys see that? Now look, it already has the foil inside that has the gold on it. Okay, are you guys just listening to me? I can see all your comments and I can read them right now. So let me know you're here. I'd love to, I'd love to hear from you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit of embossing now, like heat embossing. And I'm gonna grab everything I need. And I'm using the I am thankful for you because I am thankful for you. Thanks for taking time out of your day when I didn't even schedule a live show. I just decided, well, I'm gonna do this before my kids get home. Although I hear the music, so I think my uh, 17 year old just got home. I hear his music downstairs. He makes music. Did you guys? Do you guys see his um, song that I posted? He's actually in his genre doing a really good job. Okay, anyway, I have a piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna do a quick swipe with our embossing buddy. Now I'm going to have my gold embossing powder ready and I have a background piece just in case it falls, just in case it falls over. Is that, that's not right, in case it spills over. I'm using our Versamark ink pad and I'm going to stamp the I am thankful for you just in the middle. And I like to use the little plastic containers because usually I can contain it if it's a smaller item. There we go. I am thankful for you. Now I'm gonna pull out our heat tool 
I probably should go ahead and cover this. Thank you, you guys. Okay. Now I'll just use our heat tool and it's on setting two and I have it facing away from me. I know my fingers look really close, but the heat's actually facing away. And I have embossed this with the gold and that's all the embossing. I'm almost done with this card actually. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's a pretty quick card. The embossing, I did it, the, most of the embossing I did this morning. I just have to finish putting a lot of it together. Okay, let me get this out of the way so I can wrap this card up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops, use that other framelit that I just showed you all earlier. I love just shapes. This is a very versatile die set that I can use on multiple projects, even after the Christmas is over. It doesn't matter, you can mix and match, like I said. So I'm not even making, this stamp set is called Christmas Rose, the, the bundle. But, like I said, if you're just popping on, hi Scott, I'm making this a thank you card for my customers. Okay, so now I have, this is gonna be it. I also have one extra thing that I've added. Hi Deb. Okay, this is a piece of our gold glimmer paper it's they come in sheets of 12 by 12 and a pack of two and i love this paper because you can use the scraps and just add a little bit of pizzazz to them this is cut at half inch by five and a quarter so let's grab the whisper white thick and i've already scored it and cut it for you guys at the beginning of the video okay i'm using our bone folder gives you nice tight creases and I'll just start layering this up. I'm going to add some of our snail adhesive to the back of this. And I'll just simply add this on here. Oops. And if you're quick, you can pop it off if you're quick. That's the key. Okay. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now I tried last night. I was working on this part of the cards of all of the cards last night and just regular adhesive it was popping off a little bit so I like to use my mini glue dots and you wouldn't think this would be but because it has the foil it might be just a little more I don't want to say slippery but it can't really absorb so I have the glue dots on the back of that and now I'm going to take now you could use our dimensionals but I'm going to grab my new favorite adhesive strips these are the well the new favorite the only adhesive strips that we have okay ta-da and it's a hot mess but that's okay i'm just going to add a strip here tear it off you don't even have to cut it did you know that so so cool hi val i'm gonna cut that and just throw that away and now i'll add a little bit right here it doesn't have to be perfect remember that you guys and because you see me doing maybe adding this one way, you might choose to add it another. There's really not one correct way in paper crafting. There's multiple ways to get the same result. Okay, I'm just going to add this up here. I'm going to take my I am thankful for, and I'm going to use the beautiful gold glitter dots that you can get just right now. They're only available this month. You can get them separately. You don't have to get them in any sort of button. One easy item code. Okay, I'm almost done. So I'm gonna add this off over here. So I'm going to add some glue dots or adhesive to one side of this. And then I'm gonna add a dimensional over here. And now I'm just gonna add this on here. And I have a quick card. Isn't it so beautiful? Here's the other one I made. And then here's just just to give you an idea, here's some. I just have piles and piles of them that I've been working on. Okay, remember, I'm gonna flip around if you popped in late. There is no judging. I'm a little tan, <laughs> so I chose to start with the crafting first, so you'll forgive me if I look crazy. Okay, here we go. you're gonna see my ceiling, and then I'm going to, then you might see me too close, so I hope not. Hi, okay, I'll do this angle, and I'll come back a little bit. Okay, I'm really tan. I'm not as tan as tan mom, but I'm pretty tan. 
Okay, here is the card for today's tutorial. Quick, quick crafting uh, video for you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for tuning in. Tomorrow I will not be live because um, I have an appointment. And so uh, I haven't updated my pinkstamper.com either, but I will be updating it today with this the weekly giveaway. Okay, that's all. Yes, this will fade off by, by my event this weekend, but thanks you guys for tuning in and um, I love you guys. Thank you so much. You're all amazing. <clears throat> thanks for tuning in today and letting me share what I love with all of you and have a wonderful week and I will see you guys later. Bye. See ya. Bye.